We want to see what 51 looks like. This is what 51 This is what 51 oh. looks like. How yeah. do we get to look like that? Calm down. Yeah. Everybody. All the plastic surgeries <laughs> worked out fine. What's the trick? Like, what we got to do? The trick. Yeah. There's no trick. It's just, you know, you just got to be mindful of what you put in your body a little bit. And a little routine in the mornings. I do my meditation and my prayers and my workouts and my cold plunging. Have you tried cold plunging yet? No, I don't <laughs> like being cold. Just the sound of it. I'm like, oh, goodness. It's actually but that great helps. for you. Yes, it's really great for you. It okay. eliminates all uh, um, inflammation in your body and it, oh. and, it, and it triggers all those happiness hormones like dopamine and serotonin. And you come out like super joyful and happy all day. Like, really? Hey! hey. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well. Ooh, maybe I'll try it one day. <laughs> Y'all, uh, I can't stand being cold. Okay, listen, I love your family. You, you guys oh, are beautiful people, so beautiful sweet. kids. Thank and y'all love surprising each other. We your daughter did. surprised you for your birthday. She did. That's little, nice. You know, a little tear coming down my cheek when she did it. Really? Because she was, I was really upset with her. Uh-huh, why? Because <laughs> she, her birthday is three days before mine. Oh. So I called her two weeks ago. I said, I, you know, what are we going to do for your birthday when you come home? She said, <clears throat> well, I'm not going to come home for my birthday. Uh -oh. I'm going to go to the Bahamas with my friends for my birthday. I was like, what? What do you mean you're going to the Bahamas for your birthday? Uh -huh. You're supposed to come home. <laughs> she did not. So I was mad at her. Uh -huh. So then on Friday, it was my birthday, and I came into the kitchen, and she was there. Oh, so she made up for it, right? She came home for her daddy's birthday, so I was happy. Aw, I love it's that. Surprise, yeah. And then so you you a dad dad. Apparently you be trolling her Instagram page. Absolutely. I, oh, you just said absolutely, and that's just that. Yeah. How does she feel about that? I don't care. <laughs> okay, you know I gotta ask, do you troll your son like that too though? Yes, I do. You do? Of course. Oh, yeah. okay. Because he's uh he's the baby, but he's six six. He's not a baby, but six six. And he's a basketball player. Wow. So he travels a lot with basketball oh in goodness. Atlanta and in D.C. and all over the place. So um, I slide in his DMs and I clean up. <laughs> I, I block and delete that. people. Block, you, you get to block and delete her. I don't care. If I get to, I do it. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Okay, so what kind of basketball dad are you then? I, you know, I, I don't like, uh, you know, parents that lose their mind because they're putting so much pressure on their kids and mm. they, they ruin it for everybody. So... I watch and I'm supportive and I told them that, look, I'm your dad, it's my job that when you come home, I give you a hug, I support yeah. you whether you win or lose. Uh, but when I'm at the game, I, I don't say anything. At all? I'm not the one who runs up and down the sidelines screaming at people, I don't do that. You're embarrassing your kids, stop the madness, okay? You start fights with other parents. Well, I ain't gonna fight them. See, you start fights with referees. Uh -uh. What's wrong with you? See, I encourage all the kids, but I feel like you, you, you know, we gotta give them the energy. They out there get putting all that energy out there. And I'm like, parents, yeah, get the up. Energy get is, them some you love. cheer for your kid. You clap. That's the energy they need. Not <laughs> you, not you harassing the referee or the okay. coach. Okay, okay. Look, I have a 14-year-old and he plays basketball right. too, but I, I'm in the middle where I'm one of those parents where I think I should be the coach. And sometimes I think I should play. Yep. And then my son be like, you're embarrassing me, sit down. I know, but I feel like we're supposed to give him that energy, you know, and that type of love. You raised him. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's all that matters. Okay. He knows what to do. Yeah. <laughs> Taught him. That's right, right. Yeah. yeah. See, that's why I'm like, okay, you got to get Are you living life. vicariously through your son on the basketball court? Is that what's happening? Yeah, because, you know, recently I tried to play basketball and my ponies hurt so bad. That. Listen, yes. I was like, this is what you get for trying to run your son's track, baby. You can have that. I will cheer you on and I'll be over here in the corner. There it is. I won't fight the referees or nothing like that, okay? Promise? I promise. Okay. I promise. Because that's not what the movie looked like. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I'll the put movie it in the like. characters from there. Do it for your daughter! <laughs> But that's my way of trolling my okay. kid. Oh, court. shout out to Mila, by the way, Yobovich. Yes. Girl. Oh. I did the whole. Um, yes, she uh, is Resident awesome. Evil with her. She's amazing. Oh Isn't my she God. Amazing? I love the whole cast was She's awesome working too. with her. She is, and she had me feeling like I was tough too, but there I ain't nobody tougher than her. That's true. Listen, yeah. but you're so experienced because your kids, like, what, your daughter's in college. Yep. And then your son, he plays in Germany as well. Yes, he plays for the German national team, on the basketball team. Yeah. Oh, my God, at 17. Yes, at 17. He plays on the 18U team, under 18. So they're both out of the house. Do you guys feel like yeah. you're, like, empty nesters now? 
Pretty much. I mean, my son is a junior in high school, so he's got another year, but he's always gone because he plays everywhere. So, yes, we do have that feeling of empty nest ness, if you will, mm. which is great. Okay. Is, is it? <laughs> oh, you, you're loving it. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, one day. A lot of sexy time. Uh oh. Yes. That's why it's great, huh? Spontaneous, <laughs> unprompted, sexy time without anybody bothering you all the time, except the dogs. Except the dogs. How many the dogs, dogs do you have? The dogs sit around like this. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most embarrassing thing that you do in front of your kids? Everything is embarrassing. Everything? Like what? <laughs> the way I dress, the way I, the way I chew my food is embarrassing. Oh, the way yeah. I dance is embarrassing. The way I, the, when I dress is embarrassing. When I don't dress is embarrassing. Everything is embarrassing. Why is kids. that? I have no idea. Because we're pretty cool. I mean, we're yes, pretty cool Yes, you all parents. are. I, I try to tell the kids, look, your mother just came back from Fashion Week in Paris. Right. Your father plays a firefighter on TV. Yes. Can't be that bad, right? You don't get no cooler than that. It doesn't matter. We're still, we're still embarrassing. So I, I'm not I even care. allowed to get out the car when I drop my kid off. He's like, don't that? get out of the car. You're going to embarrass me. I'm like, man, forget I mean, you. It's just a part of the, the growing up, the parenting. It, yeah. But you know what's funny? Their friends check him. Okay. Yeah. Like your, your son's friends, mm -hmm. they probably check him too. I mm -hmm. say, do you know who your mother is? See, but we just mom and you just dad. I know, but they get a, they get a different perspective from their friends. Uh -huh. And when they come home, they still think we're embarrassing. Can't win for losing. You and Nicole have been married. Are you married. about to test me? You know what? I, do, I, you know, I got so many questions for you. <laughs> it's not a test, though, because, I mean, if it was, you'd pass because you've been married 19 years. 19 years. That's the test of yeah. all tests. That's right. Like, how do y'all keep it fresh? <sighs> you know, it's, it's really, there's no trick. Mm -hmm. You just can't give up, ah. right? Because, look, everybody goes through their stuff individually and as a couple. Right. You got to give each other the space to make mistakes. You got to give each other the space to apologize, to forgive. You got to give, give each other the space to, to grow, to mature, to, to, yeah, like I said, mess up. Um, and, and you can't give up. If this is your person, you can't give up, mm. right? You gotta, you gotta crawl through the mud together. I love that. You gotta fight those fights together. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta celebrate, you gotta learn each other's ways how to be loved, right? Because everybody's different. Everybody mm -hmm. wants to be loved differently. And mm -hmm. you have to learn that about the other person. Um, That's and, it's, and it's fun to go through or to crawl through the mud with somebody and come out on the other end. Right and be so much better for it, right? And it's like, it's like in business. You cannot succeed without failing. Yes. You have to make mistakes along the way. It's too bad when people bail out before they can reap the benefits of having made mistakes and having been through all that stuff. Yes, because it's a and part of the process. It's a part of the process. You cannot find true happiness without messing up and going through those periods in mm. your life, whether it's as an individual or as a couple. And I think that we got that, and we give each other the space to, to go through that process, individually and together. And it's so much fun to be together after all this time. And now, the kids are gone! The <laughs> empty nester! Take the time! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, we gotta know. What would you say is the, the, the thing she finds most annoying about you, and vice versa? <laughs> <laughs> It was just happened last night, actually. Um, I was sitting there eating my dinner. She was sitting there and just watching me. And I was like, what's going on? You chew so loud. <laughs> what is that? Oh, that is Can somebody explain it to me, please? It's adorable. Females, that, what is that, that? What is that? Can I chew my food, please? <laughs> Can I please chew my food? Ladies, he's talking to you. OK. Yeah. yeah. Do you have anything about her that annoys you? What's your thing for her? No, I love everything about her. <laughs> See, he knows how to answer. That's how you got to 19 years. You know what? There's, maybe there's one thing. Um, she, she comes home and she drops everything. Oh, okay. I'm very German, so the keys go where the keys belong. Your the shoes knee. go where the shoes go. So I never misplace anything. She loses stuff all the time. <laughs> or she thinks somebody stole it. <laughs> But she just happened to put the car keys in the sock drawer or in the fridge or <laughs> she leaves stuff everywhere because uh -huh. she doesn't put it in the right place. <laughs> and then she comes at me, where's my, mm -mm, where's my super suit? Like whatever it is. <laughs> and and that, that's probably one thing that I was like, babe, please just put it in the right place. 
I love this. This is amazing. That's so funny. That's adorable. A couple things, right? You know what I mean? A couple things. Very sweet. Very sweet. Okay. Now we have to talk about the final season of Station 19. How are you oh. feeling about that? Bittersweet. Woo. There he is. Yes. I mean, look at, I mean, this is pretty cool, right? It's That's very cool. cool. <laughs> oh, hold on a second. What that, what is that? that I don't know 19. what that is. I don't know what that is. There's a whole lot of baby oil. I don't know what that is. <laughs> what can we expect from the final season? A lot of fire. Mm. And I don't know what's going to happen in the end. Okay. I have no idea. This oh. is really bittersweet for me, right? Yeah. Because you established this family for seven years and people wow. you love and respect and spend so much time with, and now this is about to end, so it's like, it's weird. But it's great, too, because, you know, you get to do new things mm -hmm. and experience new adventures and go out and do other stuff. And, but it's definitely bittersweet. And I want to say thank you and love you to all the fans out there because, <laughs> yes, because the fans have been absolutely incredible in their support all over the world mm -hmm. for the show and for us. And it's just been such a labor of love. And I'm so grateful that I was able to experience this with this group, with these people, the cast, the producers, the writers. And um, I'm just so blessed, blessed that this was my last seven years. Mm -hmm. And the fans have been incredible. I love every single one of you guys. Thank you. Aww. Well, we love you here at the Happy Place. Will you come back again and see us? I will absolutely come back. Yes. All right. We love to have you. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.